This is Dr. Holt. Uh, this is on a bungee problem. Um, these are good problems. Uh, somewhat challenging, but if you follow the um, conservation mechanical energy, the problem really is pretty easy to solve. Here I have a 55 kilogram bungee jumper that leaps from a bridge. She is tied to a bungee cord that is 12 meters long when unstretched and falls a total of 31 meters. So that means immediately that the bungee cord has stretched at the bottom of 31 minus 12 is 19. So the cord itself has stretched by 19 meters. We want to calculate the spring constant of the bungee cord, assuming Hooke's law applies, and then calculate the maximum acceleration that she's going to experience. I've already worked most of this problem, have it set up. Um, I put man here, and again, it's not just trying to be sexist, I should have put a woman here. Um, now I just apply the law of conservation of mechanical energy. I say the potential energy initial plus the kinetic energy initial must equal the potential energy final plus kinetic energy final. We allow the woman at this point being 31 meters from where she falls, then the she has no kinetic energy initial. So the only thing that she's going to have is potential energy. We take her mass, which is 55 kilograms. We multiply by 9.8 times the y distance which is 31 that gives us 16,709 joules so initially I have 16,709 joules so according to the law of mechanical uh, conservation of mechanical energy I must have 16,709 joules here when she falls and she reaches the at the bottom her velocity has stopped so she her kinetic energy has gone to zero all that must be taken up in the potential energy of the bungee cord or here I have it act acting as a spring so it's 16,709 joules must be the potential energy of the bungee cord we set that equal to one half times K times the deflection and remember the deflection is 19 because we said if she falls 31 I have a 12 millimeter uh, long unstretched cord then it has to stretch 19 I apply the 19 here. Now what you want to do is solve for K. It's your only unknown. And when you do that, you will get K is equal to 92.57 newtons per meter. And to find the acceleration, excuse me, <clears throat> to calculate the maximum acceleration she's going to experience, then what we're going to do then is um, we're going to set uh, basically we're going to just do a free body diagram of her here her mass times gravity coming down that would be uh, her 55 times 9.8 which gives me the minus 539 coming down here um, we can apply this at the bottom where she stopped because her velocity is going to be zero so she's going to max acceleration the spring constant is going to be um, the 92.57 times the 19 that she stretched that's going to be the force going back up all we have to do now is sum forces in the y direction set that equal to mass times acceleration and we will find that her acceleration is 22.18 meters per second squared again not a bad problem um, when you when you're experiencing or you're, you're having to solve bungee type problems set it up like this and just set the um, using excuse me just using the law of the conservation of mechanical energy and then remember when you find the maximum acceleration you're going to find it down here at the bottom that's where you're going to have the maximum spring force and that's going to give you your maximum acceleration